Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we're back to Regency Solitaire. Let's continue. Let's move on to Chapter 8, The London Theater. Edward seems out and about and doing dastardly things. Oh, the gossips are back. Look over there. Isn't that Bella, the girl who you were so taken with at the ball in Bath? I do believe so. it is. She is truly a diamond of fine water. I must speak with her after the opera. Could that be Henry up there in the box? If only I had some opera glasses, I could get a better view. Well, here's the problem here, is that either they are indicating that Henry walked right into this box that we're in right now, had that conversation, then walked somewhere further away, or they or simply they were just too lazy to make two backgrounds. So we need to find opera glasses, obtain a multiplier of 2.3, and earn a multiple of earn 3,800 gold. Which, that's not an incredibly large amount of gold to earn. So I think we can pull that off, and we'll definitely find the upper glasses. It's the 2.3 multiplier that's going to prove itself to be somewhat complicated. So if I could shuffle, should I shuffle right now? I can't, so it's a, it's a question not worth really asking, but right now there's three face cards here, assuming it doesn't count the ace, which I'm not certain it does. Let's see. Jack. Queen, Jack, Tin, in the command, in the combo. Moving forward, five, seven doesn't work, Queen doesn't work, two. Three, two, eight, two, three, four. Now in that combo. Hmm. Ten, nine, ten. Moving forward. So maybe I should keep all of these up until the tenth hand. And on the tenth hand use as many wilds as necessary to get that combo up. I think that might be our goal. Because otherwise I'm gonna potentially put myself in a difficult position in which I'm trying to get the combo while not using all the wild cards or not having enough wild cards. Here we have five four cards remaining now and it just doesn't feel like we're gonna get past this wall of sevens. Seven. See that one seven I got rid of. This six I get rid of. Let's see, nine. And just not enough cards. So we do need to earn more gold than 64. So we'll have to start again. And more and more as we move forward, it's becoming this repeat and play style of gameplay which is a little off for a solitaire game. It doesn't feel right to me. I'm more along the lines of a uh, of the play it once then move on mentality than sitting here trying over and over again the same layout I'll go. Although, if I was playing just regular Klondike Solitaire, I would be playing the same layout over and over again. But at least I would be familiar enough with that layout that I could move a bit faster through the process. Almost missed that six there. Let's double check and make sure we have a Another Joker. Four. Jack, Queen, Jack, 
queen or ten? Might as well take the queen out. Shuffle. Now is a good time to shuffle. King, queen, king. Let's see. And then let's go ahead and get rid of this guy. And in the combo. Ace, king, king does nothing, six does nothing, seven does nothing, three does nothing, six does nothing, four does nothing, I have eleven cards remaining, ten does something, nine, ten, nine, ten, so three more things. 10 more cards to get rid of a little bit more. 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, and 8. Now we can move forward getting that 605 gold. We could set this as the desktop again. I just don't feel like this is the right way to do that. What you know what it should be. Now that I think about it is it should be artwork unlocked in a gallery. And then when you go and look at the gallery, you can you can just save that as a desktop right then and there. Instead of promoting it right here and that being the only opportunity to save it as a desktop. Um, just have a gallery function and then you have extras in your menu and having that extra section in your menu of a game is, is a nice selling point. I don't know if it actually sells any more copies of a game but it's a nice thing to point to and say we do have the, these things. Let's see. Three, two, three, four, nothing more. Ace, two, works. Jack. Let's see, Jack, Queen, then Jack, then Tin, then Jack, then Queen, King, Ace, Queen, King. Ace and then shuffle. King and in combo. Let's see. Eight, nine, ten, nine. Now I have nine, 18 cards remaining to get rid of four. Eight, two, seven, six, five, let's see, six, three, king, eight, four, there we go, two remaining with ten cards, I think we can pull this off, ah, another wild card, almost full, I think. Two, six gets us one. Ace, ten, four. I had three more chances, but I've got. See, this almost feels more like gambling than than actually playing solitaire because there's no. At least right now, it doesn't feel like there's any real strategy or planning for. Uh, a setup for a long play at the end of the game it, it just feels like did I possibly run into the right card that I needed right then from the stock and if I do have the stock card I win and if I don't have the stock card I lose ace ace see ace doesn't count Queen, Queen, Jack, 
Jack. 10, 9, 8, 7. There we go. King. Now not even good. 4. Let's see. 3, 2, Ace. 2, 3, 2, 3, that was a nice combo, let's see we're almost to 2.3, can I use this to get rid of this one, hmm, we're so close it would make sense now to put this jack here, let's see, jack, queen, 10, 9, 10, Jack. Ten. Nine. Jack. That's 2.5. That's that's our goal. There. And do I want to move any further with this? Well, I guess I could shuffle since since the opportunities are there. Heck, I've got it. Opera glasses revealed. Borrow these opera glasses, Bella. We we find they are excellent for getting a closer look at the gentleman. Ah, so the gossips give us the opera glasses. That's interesting. And we got that multiplier. I'm glad that locked in too, because I was a little bit afraid that it wasn't going to, since that was our last move. And we only need 2,000 more gold. See, look at this. This is a pretty simple uh, layout. It just is somewhat demanding on being the right cards because everything is stacked on top of each other. Is there a jack? Yes, there is. Is there a ten? Yes, there is. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, five. If I go up to six here, I can't come back down to four. So I'm going to go four, then three, then two. Then if I go ace here, I can go to king and queen and jack. Whereas if I go three here, that doesn't do anything. So ace, king, queen, jack. Look at this combo. It's a combo of 19. Like, and is this our first turn? Really? Could I play something here and continue this? Like, if I put an eight and I go seven, six if I put a seven and go six seven six let's move this combo as high as we can go six seven six and two three two three Joker for the eight. And Joker for the Jack. That's a 3.5 combo. And still that's not up to the maximum. Was that worth using all of those? Best combo 27. Record combo 27. And I think that was it, so move forward. I wouldn't want to retry and mess up that, that move. I, of course I burned a lot of a lot of the cards I had there. But it seems like the game has got decided to go easy on me. 
7, do I go 8, or do I go 6? And then shuffle. And then in the combo. This 4 doesn't do us any good. King, Ace, helps. 2 doesn't do anything. Queen, Jack, 10. See, there, we're gonna have to get more face cards or this barrier is gonna stop me. 3 does nothing. In fact, this is not a good chance to win at all. This Jack. This turn, and then this, and if I get rid of this one, that still counts. So if I can just find a jack or a king, that will unlock this path, but I'll have however many cards are remaining, less than 17. Might be a good idea to use a wild right now. Ace, no good. Two gets this ace. Jack gets this queen. Wild card. Eight, nine, four, five, four, three. Jack, king, seven, eight. Two, Jack. Nope. I have nine cards remaining to get rid of two. I, all of a sudden it seems doable. Yep. We can do it. Now I just need a four or two. Four or two. There's a two. So that is a perfect. And you know what's funny is we've gotten five perfects. Whether we, without really even trying. And we've got 3,145 gold already. We only need 655 more. I think next recording we should try to get five more perfects. And maybe go a little bit long, even though we're going short today. Uh, they, the episodes are getting potentially shorter, potentially longer. They seem to go up and down. Uh, lack of consistency on difficulty would be incredible. It would be require a lot of effort and testing to figure out how to make games and figure out how long it'll take for a player to play them but yeah if we get all 10 perfects that'll get us an achievement and that would be fun anywho that's it for this recording as always i ask you to like share subscribe comment if you want to and watch every second of my videos all of that helps out if you want to support me further, you can click on my name right out. On the right is a blue button that says support this channel. Click it, make a donation. And if you want to friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.